you. Ah. Oh, so cool. Oh, let me play with it, too. Nah, give me a second. like pushovers? Fine. Guess I don't need to hold back then. Well, I'm pretty awesome, right? There we go. Okay. That should do it. All right, let's rumble. Curse you, Davis! Don't complain. We're only taking a bit. Pleasure doing business. Gotta say. Don't see much point in stealing a few sips of water at a go like this. I say it's high time we hijack the king's entire water source for ourselves! I say you control yourself! Let the humans up their dwindling numbers first. We don't want to drive them to extinction after all. Try a world without humans, I dare you. Believe me, it'd be awfully boring for demon kind. Water. Take it. Water? Thank you! <laughs> Guess the world really is coming to an end. The Fiend Prince giving water to a human! I couldn't believe my eyes! 
If we're gonna start doing good deeds, we might as well turn in our pitchforks. Shut it! I'll torment the kid plenty once he grows up! Can't remember the last time I had water. Thanks a bunch. Good, good. By the way, Prince, it sounds like slime's at death's door. Huh? I think he accidentally fell asleep in the sun again. It might not be too late yet. Would you please go bring him some water, Prince? Sure, but... Where is he? I heard that he and Polta were hanging out together up on top of that cliff. Nothing's ever easy. Oh, and should you come across anyone else in need of water on the way, give them some too, would you? Hey, aren't you just pushing your chores on me? Well, I wouldn't dream of it. I am tied up with other tasks, though. Huh. Fine. Whatever. I'll go. Uh, think you can save him? Well, probably. Yeah. Thought you were a gunner! Uh-huh, great. Why is your voice so dang loud? Thanks, Prince! Stop falling asleep in the sun, would ya? No, no kidding! Today is a real scorcher! Yeah, same as always. Ah, uh, why'd the world have to end up like this? Things have been like this for around 50 years now. Ever since man's foolishness and a succession of natural disasters caused this one small desert to expand farther and farther until it had swallowed up pretty much the entire world. The few humans who somehow managed to survive... Well, they just kept on waging their pointless wars. You're in position! The rebel army hideout is just ahead! We have received word that the be there they are! We can't let them destroy that machine. Guard it at all costs! Looks like you'll wipe them all out. Now destroy that weapon before they have a chance to use it! Keep advancing until the facility is in range of your cannon! And so, humanity's inane belligerence resulted in the worst possible outcome for the entire planet.
demons belong in gloomy darkness. So, what are we doing out here under the blazing sun? They call this scorching, desolate desert, Sandland. But a chance encounter is about to change this dying wasteland forever. That's right, I'm a human. I come from a neighboring town. I'm Sheriff Rao. I'm here today because I want to ask for you demons' help. Now, is one of your leaders willing to listen to what I have to say? A human sheriff? You've got guts showing your face around here. So, are you the demon's leader? The great King Lucifer is our leader, but he'd never meet with you himself. I'm the Fiend Prince Beelzebub. State your business. Well then, I'll get straight to the point. I'd like your assistance with my mission, searching for the legendary spring. Legendary? Uh, explain. I have reason to believe that it exists somewhere here in this desert. A spring? In this freaking desert? <laughs> you must have sunstroke or something. What makes you think that? Do you know a bird called the water finch? This bird feeds on small freshwater fish and during its mating season flies north to lay eggs among the rocky cliffs there. <sighs> That's so, thief? Hmm, it does sound familiar. But how exactly is this relevant? Because I saw a water finch flying north yesterday. This means there must be a spring with small fish to sustain these birds. Somewhere in this desert, to the south of our current location. Mm. But the desert to the south of here is dangerous and wild. I doubt a lone human can make it even so far as halfway across. That's why I'm here. I would like for a powerful demon to accompany me on my journey. Let's say we somehow managed to find this spring. Do you really think that humans and demons could share its water between them? Of course. If you like, you're even free to live there yourselves, as thanks for your help. All we ask is to be allowed to take what water we need to get by. So tell me, is all this your idea? Or are you here on behalf of the king? It's my plan alone. As if that greedy tyrant cares for anyone other than himself. We must find this spring by ourselves for the people. Uh, doesn't sound like a bad deal. But we've been doing fine stealing water for ourselves. How about it? Anybody Working with a human? Along? But it served no. that selfish king right to have his crash. stash Sounds stolen. Sounds a bit too dangerous, don't you think? Please accept this as a token of goodwill. 
one of the few game consoles to have survived these chaotic times. So cool! And with games, too! Hold on! I'll ask my dad for permission! Hey, uh, Dad? Yes, I heard. Aid him. Let human's plan will benefit us as well. And he seems trustworthy enough. And it gives you a chance to sharpen your skills. That said, once you return, you're only allowed to use that console for one hour a day. Be sure to only play in a bright room, and don't sit too close to the screen. Um, fear, fear. He's mad! Yes! We're going in this? How many passengers can fit? With luggage, looking at two at most. Then me and... Thief, I guess. Why me? You know all kinds of stuff, and you're good at stealing. <laughs> B Prince, I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be easier to have someone who can fly carry you there? Quit complaining and get your butt in here right now! Hey, let's go! Prince! Stay on your toes! Fight back! Souvenirs for I'm us! Brush your teeth. Let's go! First, let's head south. That's the direction the water fence came from. Hey, old man. How long do you think this is gonna take? Call me Rao, please. And, well, probably quite some time. Hey, let me take the wheel for a bit. Leave the human machines to their makers, please. Sure, take it for a spin. For real? Holes. That's not good. Huh? Step on it. No! A dandy dragon, and it's hungry. Even I can't beat something that cute. For it, it's on our tail. Damn it! Here. We just barely escaped! <laughs> that was nothing! We're barely outside the village, and we've lost all our food and water. So, what should we do? Without provisions, surely our only choice is to turn back. Hmm. You know, there should be a town called Talbo not too far from here. Not that I have any money, but we'll figure something out. Sounds like we don't have a choice. Fine then. Let's get moving. Uh -huh. Fresh meat inbound! Huh? First one in ten days. What, what the heck just... All 
four tires punctured. Have at them, boys! Go rob them blind! And if they resist, feel free to off them! I take it you punks are responsible? Check it out, Beef! Get a load of their stupid outfits! Their clothes look an awful lot like yours, Prince. Uh, a brat with a big mouth! Allow me to teach you some matter! Ah! That was enough! I got no more fun! How useless can you people be? That hurt, you stupid Prince, are you alright? Take that! Ow! Take that! Ow! I must say, you're quite strong for a pipsqueak. Just wait till you see what I'm packing. Huh. Nobody's allowed to be more evil than a fiend. Still kicking, old timer? Yeah, thanks to you. Never would have believed just how strong fiends are if I hadn't seen it for myself. Oh, please, those guys, they were nothing. There's an even more pressing matter. The car, can it even run? No, not in this shape. We've no choice but to walk it to Talbo. It's not far. Ah, are you serious? Oh, for the, I can't believe this. We're not far now. Look, over there. You can see it. He's right. Come on, thief. All right, all right. Oh, hey, old man, is that the town? Yes, that's Talbo. Now, you two should wait here. It'll cause havoc if people see demons wandering around town. I'll go on my own. Wait, we need water and food, right? Thief? and just steal them for free. Huh? No, no, that's all right. As a sheriff, I can't condone. I thought you didn't have any money. Don't be ridiculous. Thief's a pro at stealing. You have the costume, right? Yes, of course, Prince. I never leave home without it. This is murder on my hairstyle. What's that supposed to be? Even if I get caught, I can just talk my way out as long as I'm wearing this. See ya! Is that a... It is! A motorcycle! Looks like it's in good condition. Think I'll use this to make my escape. All right then. Now to get what I came here for in the first place. Ah, just what I was looking for. These'll do nicely for provisions. It looks like there's still plenty more for the taking. Okay. I'll grab what I need and head back. <sighs> well, 
I should just about do it for this month's taxes. Everything I work for gets taken by the Royal Army. Bastards. Oh, sounds like these supplies are earmarked for the Royal Army. Stealing from the Royal Army doesn't trouble me one bit. Take everything you can get, I say. At this rate, I'll be done in no time. Well, I'll be. Borer O Kettle nearly scared my boots off. Looks like good eating. Uh, too big to bring back, though. All right, you're off the meat hook. I've got places to be. Uh, I'm beat. Time for a break. At times like this, you Bororo are such a comfort. Ah, oh, that coat's softer than a lullaby. Huh? Ah, uh, Spino? You have to go south. It's hard to spot, surrounded by mountains. But uh, what do you want with that desolate old place? That girl. One looks all you need to know she's not from around here. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind that. I'm here for food, not gossip. Dan, I'll take the delivery to nap space, yeah? Nah, it's tank parts. Way too heavy for you. Leave it to me. Tank parts? Hold up! You mean there's tanks at nap space? I mean, they're getting parts for them, aren't they? Man, a tank! Just once I'd like the chance to modify one of those babies! <laughs> quit dreaming. With your skills, you just end up busting it. Oh, treat me like a low-level grease monkey, will ya? Oh, -ho! a tank, you say? <laughs> I've got to tell the prince. Get this. Some strange girl just asked me for directions to Spino. Spino? You know, where the rebel army had its base way back when. I hear it's been deserted ever since the royals stormed it decades ago. Huh, what brings her there? Don't know. Strikes me as odd, though. Huh, you think she could be up to no good or something? Hmm, don't know what harm she could do there if she tried. Nothing of interest to us here. Perfect. Plenty of food and water here should be more than enough for us. That news about the tank is the most valuable piece of this hall, though. Better get going. The prince is waiting for me. Hmm? Got our requisitions? Yeah, but they seem kind of light. <sighs> we'll just have him make it up next month. Hmm? Hey! Haven't seen you around here before. Wait, why are you running? She's got something to hide. Arrest her! Stop! Great. So that was her bike. Well, looks like I'll be walking back. Oh, Prince! I come bearing food and water! Huh. You're back already? You work fast. <laughs> Not just fast, but talented. I got us some invaluable information. Apparently, the army's got tanks set Nap's base. Whoa, tanks? Awesome! That sure beats a car. Let's go steal one. Hold on there. That's a whole lot easier said than done. Hey, we need some car or other. I'm not going all the way to the legendary spring on foot. Hmm. Well, we might as well check out this base. Maybe we'll think of something. Sweet, let's go! 
Hold on. There are soldiers around. Seems there's a checkpoint ahead. We can't be spotted. Hmm. What to do? Huh? Hear that? Wind. It's coming from over there. Wind? Ah, from that cave. Could it lead to the base, I wonder? Maybe we can slip by the checkpoint and do some recon. Sounds like a plan. Let's get moving. Bingo! A take! Ho 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 ho! It went into the warehouse in the back. That's not from the war. It's a new model. Oh, I like it! Steal it for a thief? D do you realize what you're asking for? All right. I'll do something about it. Uh, aren't you a sheriff? You're really sure it's okay for you to steal stuff? If it belongs to that lousy royal army, it's fair game in my book. Hmm, their security doesn't look very tight. We should be able to sneak in through the side entrance. You've got hairspray, don't you? Mind lending it to me? H hairspray? What are you going to do with that? I have an idea. Let's get closer. Don't get spotted. All right, so what's the plan? I assume you have one. Thief and I will cause a little diversion out front to draw their attention. When that happens, Prince, you sneak in from the side. What? Wh why me? Go be a decoy yourself if that's what you want. I'm game. Let's go. <sighs> Prince, you're far too willing to let this human take the reins at every turn. I'll zip it. Unless you got a better idea. Then it's decided. Let's join back up in the warehouse with the tank. Don't let the soldiers spot you in there. <laughs> You're telling me? Be careful you don't screw up, old man. <laughs> I'll certainly try not to. Now, off we go. Poison gas! <gasps> Say what? Poison gas? <laughs> What's the ruckus? Hey, who are those guys? Get them! Looks like he pulled it off. <laughs> now it's time for me to shine. Hey. Did you hear? There was a big uproar at the gate. Yeah, I heard. Man, today was just packed, wasn't it? Hey, did you hear? They captured some suspicious lady earlier. Yeah. Heard she had tons of maps, tools, water, the works. Doesn't seem to be from around here. Found it. Both the geezer. Oh, that smarts. What's wrong with her? That little hellcat really laid into me. Guess she's dead set on staying quiet. Come on, let's get you to the med tent. But what about the girl? Shouldn't someone, you know, stand guard? It'll be fine. The door's locked. How's she supposed to get out of there? Yeah, you're right. Ah, ah, oh, oh, oh. By the way, how's the tank? It looked like it was falling apart. It'll be useless before long. Gonna have to call a mechanic. So this is a tank. How the heck do you drive it?
Sorry for the wait, Prince. So this is our new tank. Look at this. Four antigrav stones. Big ones, too. But it's mid-repair. Won't run like this. Uh, so what are we gonna do? A d demon Huh? You really do exist. What am I saying? Not the time for this. Hey. Want to get that tank running? Why? What's it to you? Promise to get me out of here, and I'll fix it for you. We appreciate the offer, but who exactly are you? Can't these little details wait? Those grunts will be back any second. Hmm. We don't have the luxury of choice here. Prince, let's help her out. At this point, we need that tank just to escape this base. Okay. Hi, <sighs> man, and it's your lucky day. I happen to be an ace mechanic. Huh? Wait a second. You're that girl those royals were chasing after back in Talbo, aren't you? Ah, <sighs> so those goons were swapping out the transmission, huh? They don't have a new one, though. Gonna have to jury-rig some old ones together. What do you need? I'll hop out. Thanks, but this is nothing. Won't take long. In the meantime, how about you introduce yourself? I'm Rao. This here's Beelzebub and Thief. This is the first time I've ever seen a demon face to face. Um, is it normal for you guys to run around with humans like this? Absolutely not. Normally, I wouldn't be caught dead with Sorry, the... Gramps. Could you scooch for a sec? I have a name, thank you. Okay, old man. Maybe we can fix the tank. But how are we supposed to get out of the base with it? They're already on alert for hostiles after that diversion. We'll fake a deployment order. Prince, Thief, you two hide in the tank. There we go. <sighs> that should get us moving. Nice job. Your ability speaks for itself. So, do I hide in the tank, too? Mm -hmm. Ugh, you're not gonna just leave me here, are you? Uh, no, but... The soldiers are coming. We've gotta go. We've got no choice. Climb in. Uh, hold on. Forget it. We've gotta hustle. No, there's something very important in my things. Why, you planning to steal the tank all for yourself from the start, were you? Get in, hurry! Why'd you shield me? A bullet wouldn't have even scratched me. No choice now. We'll have to break through. Time to go loud. Let me take the wheel for a bit, old man. Okay, first step. Blasting through this door. All right. All right, good work. <laughs> Easy peasy. Stay sharp, kid. The front gate's to our right. Head for that. Reinforcements from the checkpoint. Prince, don't bother wasting time fighting them. Make for the bridge to the right. Roger! The bridge it is! You never said anything about battling tanks. 
stay calm. You can do this, Prince. Just aim true. Surround and attack! Stand strong! Tank damage exceeds 50%! To the tank! <laughs> what the? Look, they're taking out our tanks! Run for your lives! Cleaned every last one of them up without a single fatality. That's one hell of a first run. <laughs> I'd be bored without humans to mess with after all. It looks like we've bought ourselves some time. Let's press ahead. Actually, wait. What's that? Prince, you should try heading over there. There might be some loot to be had. Is this the tank part? Looks like a main cannon. If we install it in the tank, it'll make it way stronger. You mean it? What are we waiting for then? If I remember right, the old road ahead leads to a campsite. We can install it there. Hmm. We managed to make it to the campsite. We should be safe from the Royals for the time being. Well, in that case, let's install the cannon you scored. Great idea! Let's do it! Huh, there we go. Your new part is now combat ready. Wow! You're really awesome at this! Very impressive. And the enhanced firepower is welcome indeed. Thing is, though, the transmission's at its limit after that battle. Suspension's on the fritz, too. We'll be walking soon if nothing's done about it. You know a lot about tanks. Been in one before? Yeah. Tried my hand at any number of things during the war. Tanks I liked. Endless fighting I didn't. Well, I'm glad to have another gearhead around. Hold up. You mean our tank's already fallen apart? We just got it! I can patch it up, but that's a temporary fix. Well, can't you do something? Ace mechanic? If we had the parts, yeah. And the tools. Of course. You know, I've got a little business in Spino. You guys want to come with? There's a garage there where I should be able to get this fixed up for you. Spino? Where's that? It's in the mountains to the south. At least, I think. But don't quote me on that. You don't know where the town is. But you know it has a garage? Well, someone who used to live in Spino told me all about it. The town may be hard to find, but it actually is quite close by. You know the place? Yeah, been there a few times myself. Don't know what's become of it. Only heard rumors. Well, what have we got to lose? Without the tank, we'll never make it to the legendary spring. <sighs> Traveling solo without my bike really didn't sound like a good time. If that's settled, I'll get started on some makeshift repair. You guys should get some rack. Thanks. We'll take you up on that. I knew it. Royal's ahead. And the bridge is raised. Then this route's a dead end. What luck. It's a drawbridge, right? Just destroy the reel and it'll come down. My kind of plan. Let's get to it. Nice work. I'm impressed. Way to go. Good job, Prince. Now we can be on our way. Huh? What's that? Well, there's a weird plane headed our way. A big one. What? I impossible. Planes have been outlawed by royal decree. There shouldn't be a single one left in the world. It stopped. 
What should we do? Stay hidden. I'll handle this. Tank 104, report. You missed your scheduled check-in. Is there a problem? Do you read me? Is your transmitter broken, 104? No response from 104. General Ade. Think you had it. Must be radio trouble. Fine. Let's move on. Biels, start the tank. We need to leave now. That's Prince Bielzeb up to you, and don't you forget it. Can this petty squabble wait? We need to hide. Take cover under that boulder. All right. Is this really going to work? Let's just see how things play out. Nap Space, report someone has stolen a tank. Number 104. The perpetrator has not been spotted, but is capable of handling a tank. I repeat, Nap Space! Turn us around quickly! Look, it's a hamburger! Thinks he can fool General Ari, does he? Old man, the plane is coming back! What? Ah, too loud! Yeah, uncover the tank! We have to fight! I told you to call him Prince Beelzebub! <laughs> I'll take him out myself! It's coming! Over there! Head for the high ground. Our shot should be able to reach it from there. They won't be able to hurt us without their machine gun. Take that down first. Now, fire! We're going to counterattack. Hide behind those rocks. You can boost to avoid attacks. Just make sure to watch out for overheating. When you're out of ammo, Try slipping behind a rock to get the leeway to reload safely. It looks like we've managed to give them the slip. Seems like they've lost sight of us. If we tell them from behind, we shouldn't be spotted. Once we're in their blind spot, use the scope to hit them accurately from high ground. If hitting the machine gun's too chancy, keep aiming for the tank. Yeah. I know you can do this! Of it. Oh, they hit the water tank! Fly above them! Tanks can't fire straight up! But we can drop bombs right on their heads! Not good. They're trying to bomb us! <laughs> Anticipate the enemy's course and cut them off! Bombs away! It's only a matter of time before nothing's left of us but a smoking crater! See, and turn up the tank's anti-grav stones! As high as they'll go! If we can make this tank nearly weightless, we can lift the front end and try to shoot straight up! Ah, it's no good! Even at max output, we still weigh 1,562 kilos! Good thing you got me around. This end needs to go up, right? You can't be serious! That's still as much as a normal car! What do you think you're doing? Get back in the tank now! What, you think my help's gonna make it heavier?
Thanks, Prince. Thief, we managed to pull through that somehow. Odd, though. That plane seemed to be transporting a massive amount of water. If that's true, the King's water supply must be in the direction it came from. Meaning that it must also lie to the south of here. Wait. You telling me this legendary spring we've been looking for all this time? Is really the King's water supply? If that's true, doesn't that mean this whole journey's been for nothing? No. There's still a chance. We've made it this far. At this point, we've got to see it through. Uh, don't look now, but our tank's taken even more damage in the last battle. Uh-oh, we'd better get to, um, that town fast! It's called Spino. Yeah, that! Come on, let's go! Hmm? Is someone talking? Ah, forgot to turn off the radio. What did you say? You not only let them steal a tank, but ruin the cargo airship in the process? I have no excuse, Commander Zayu. We underestimated them. Wait, Zayu? Supreme Commander Zeyu. Is that old codger still alive? It seems all too clear by now. We can safely assume that those vermin are heading straight for our water source. But they won't get the better of us. Order all remaining tanks to stand guard around it! Do not let them near that water! Meanwhile, we'll use the media to root them out of their little hidey hole! And exterminate them once and for all! Sir, yes sir! Those renegades won't get past me! Honestly, who steals a tank? This ought to be a fine hunt. Looks like my quarry actually has a spine for once. The South! So that really is where the King's water source is located! It sounds like there's some secret surrounding it. Whatever it might be, they're terrified of us getting close to the spring. Only one way to find out! Let's head south! Look just ahead. See the bridge there? Spino is right beyond it. Spino, huh? I'd heard the rumors, but this place is even more run down than I'd imagined. It's little better than a ghost town. Can we really repair our tank here? So I was told. My, visitors are rare around these parts. Are you folks travelers? Yes, and you are? I'm this town's mayor. Now, I know you just got here. But I'm afraid that I'm going to have to ask you to leave. May I at least ask why? This town's seen enough trouble. We can't welcome outsiders. Hold on a minute. Mayor Tor, 
We're not here to cause this town any trouble, I swear. That's odd. Don't believe I ever mentioned my name. You know who I am, young lady? Yes. I've, uh, only heard about you from Longo, though. Longo? I know only one person by that name. The same one, no doubt. He wanted me to give you this letter. Take a look. Let's see, then. Hmm? Why, this is the symbol of the rebel army. <laughs> so, the old war horse is still kicking, is he? Do you trust me now? I suppose so. The garage is over there. You're free to use it as you see fit. Thank you. You worked some magic back there. The man who raised me is an old friend of the mayor's. That's all. What was in the letter? Just a request to allow me to use the garage and tinker around to my ticking heart's content. And why exactly did you need to risk life and limb to use this specific garage? Well, I mean, just look at it. It's awesome. It's been put through its paces, but it's well maintained. The control console's working, the power arm moves, and a whole smorgasbord of spare parts and tools. You won't see a full service pit stop nearly as good as this anywhere outside the army. I suppose, but... Ugh, enough with the chit-chat. Can you fix our tank or not? Child's play. You leave this baby to me. It'll take some time, though. How about you guys take a stroll around the block? Hmm. All right. We'll leave you to it, then. We might as well mingle with the locals for a bit, while she fixes the tank. It's possible that they'll know a route south, or what the army's up to. Come on, let's go! Welka- Ah! Damon! Take what you want, but I beg you, spare the children! Wait, we're not crooks. You have nothing to fear from us. Um, hello? We're demons? You should absolutely fear us. We're scary. Prince, that's not helping. Keep quiet for a minute. Sorry for frightening you. We merely want to ask you something. Oh? What? We're headed south. Know of a safe route we can take? South? Uh, I don't have good news for you. The Royal Army has blockaded off all routes headed south of here. No getting past them. And there's no way around? Mm, only if you can make it across the East Valley. There's no bridge, though. It collapsed a short while ago. Hmm, that's unfortunate. If you're set on going, uh, try asking the mayor. He knows these parts better than me. That old guy over there? All right, thanks. Hey, Pops, we need to go south. Fix the bridge for us, would you? And how would I do that? Look at the state of this town. We have neither the people nor the resources to fix the bridge. Hmm, in that case... Our only option is to penetrate the blockade. Huh? Y you want to fight the army? Huh, count me out! What other choice do we have? Why are you so determined to travel south? We're hoping to find a spring and end the water shortage. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I wish I could help, but I don't see how you'll be able to cross that ravine without a bot that excels at jumping. A jumping bot? Where can we get one of those? There are mentions of them in the Rebel Army's old files, but I suppose you need a real jump bot, not records of one. Then again, that girl with you seemed to know her way around machines. Should we try to pick her brain on this matter? Good idea. If anyone will know, it's her. <sighs> well, I'll be. Is he sleeping? He looks like a demon. Friend of yours? Seen this guy before, Thief? Nope. Can't say I have. There are an awful lot of different kinds of demons, you know. Stands to reason there will be entire types even I don't know about. Huh. 
Maybe we found a new friend then. What now? Oh man, I needed that. Hey, who are you? Oh, the name's Lassie, and I'm sort of like a cat. Okay, that doesn't explain much. Hey, what's all the commotion? Whoa, a demon? I'm not a demon. Like I told you, I'm cattish. So, a cat-like thing. Why were you sleeping here? Want to know? Then hand over something rare. Something rare? Like what? Like this ancient coin. You can usually find them in ruins. Here, to commemorate our acquaintance. Oh, uh, thanks. What's that? You want to trade this right back to me for something good, you say? Huh? Well, if you insist, take this storage capsule in exchange. This beauty right here can shrink even the biggest bot down to pockets. If you find something good in the ruins, bring it by. I'll give you something even better for it. See ya! So, that was weird. That guy's a free spirit, even by demon standards. We never so much as learned why he was sleeping there. Who cares? He gave us something cool. If it can really store bots, it'll be incredibly useful down the road. Lucky. Now I want one too. Well, it's mine, so hands off. Wouldn't dream of swiping it. Oh, and the tank repairs are done. Really? Wow, that's awesome! It looks brand new! Now she'll be able to stand a little rough and tumble. Like I said, Ace Mechanic. Just bring her in if she breaks again. What about building us something new from scratch? Look, I may be good, but a tank's way too complicated to build from square one. No, not a tank. A bot! One that can jump! Come again? Well, you see... Okay, I get it. Solid plan. Appeals to the gearhead in me. Does that mean you think you can do it? Probably. If you get me a core frame, that is. A core frame? Remember how I said I can't build a tank from scratch? That's because I don't have and can't build its most complex inner workings. Jump bot? Same deal. I need the core parts to get started. Well, that's a bummer. We don't have a core frame. A bummer indeed. Surely there's something we can do. Well, we might be able to acquire one at a junker's market. A junker's market? Great idea! Is one nearby? I wouldn't know. Asking Mayor Tor might be the quickest way to find out. All right, then let's hit up the old toad. Hey, old man, is there a junker's market around here? I wouldn't say it's nearby exactly, but there actually is a fairly large one in the area. It's right at the foot of the cliff the Lisa battleship juts out from. Can't miss it. Sweet, let's get going already. Why are you the one getting all excited? To a mechanic, a junker's market is one huge treasure trove. Think of it like a treasure hunt. Doesn't that get you excited? Uh, I guess. B but just a little. Then it's decided. I call first dibs. Hey, no fair. You don't have to stay with me, you know. Odd as it is to say in the middle of the desert, this town's nothing but a sinking ship. After being the mayor for so long, it's only right that I go down with it. But a young lady like you needn't subject yourself to this. Don't talk like that. This isn't the end. Not yet. If we all pull together, I'm sure something can still be done. Sweet 80s, can't you see? There is no we. This town has no one left to pull together. Spino is... finished. What happens then? What about our tank? Should we lose the town, the garage goes with it. No way! We won't be able to repair the tank! 
And just to be clear, if it breaks, I'm not walking. What of the children? What about Hugh and Plika? I've arranged for an old friend's son and his wife to look after them. When did you... I apologize for the secrecy. I didn't want you to worry when it came time to leave. True. I never would have left so long as those two were still here. But I bet Hugh and Plika feel the same about you. They'd never want to move away from this town if it meant leaving you behind. You don't want to part with them either, do you? No, I do not. But those children still have their futures ahead of them. They deserve better than a town slowly dying of old age. So let me get this straight. The town needs people. That it? Let's bring them in then. From other places. But this is a former rebel base. The government is never going to supply it with food and water. And just look how run down it is. You'd have to be a real oddball to willingly move here. Well, when you put it that way. Hmm. Mayor, did you know that any time travelers pass through Spino, Hugh and Plika always talk up the town to them? I had no idea. But why would they... To attract more people to Spino and make you happy, Mayor. Hugh's own words. Oh my. If the kids haven't given up on this town, then there's no way us adults can give up either. Perhaps you have a point. Let's tough it out just a little longer, Mayor. We'll return Spino to its former glory. It's what the kids want. Very well. We'll keep fighting. To the bitter end. Agreed. Hmm. I can tell you want to help. It's written all over your face. I'll be frank, I do. In any capacity I can. <laughs> Maybe I'm in the mood to help too. I mean, we can't lose the tank. So, let's get on it then. Yes, let's.